This video will go over how to add content across multiple sections after they've already been created. We do recommend, as a best practice, that you do set up your template first before creating all your sections. But there is a way that if you wanted to add additional content after your sections were already created, you can do so and choose which sections or all sections to have that content appear in the course materials area. You can do these steps from any section or template in your program. And this does apply to any My Language Lab program. I'm going to click into a section and go to course materials. From course materials, I'm going to choose add from library. You're able to do this functionality by going into your course materials library. You will then see a screen where on the left hand side you'll see your course materials library and on the right hand side you'll see your course. When you do these steps, after you complete these steps, the material will actually appear in the sections course area with a backup copy available in the materials library. You do need to do these steps from the library area of one of your sections to have this apply to the additional sections in your program. All you'll need to do is go to Add Course Materials if you have not uploaded any content yet. If you've already uploaded content, you will find it in your Course Materials library and you can navigate and do the second part of this video. To upload materials first, and you can also do folders, click Add Course Materials and either add a folder or choose to add a link, an eText link, a file, multiple files, or a page. Most instructors typically will either add a link or add a file or multiple files. Multiple files will allow you to upload more than one file at the same time. They will appear as separate files in your library, but it just makes the process quicker to upload. Just simply choose Add File if you want to upload one file at a time. Choose your file, select the document that you wish to upload, and choose Open. And then name the file. This is the same name that will appear in all the sections and would appear to your students as well eventually. You don't need to add anything else and just simply click Add. Your file will now be uploaded and once it's uploaded you can put your mouse over it and you'll have the option to add to multiple sections. Click Add to multiple sections and now you'll be able to select the sections that you wish to add. You can select all sections or select specific sections that you would like to have this content available in. I'm going to select all and click add. This content now will appear at the bottom of the list in your My Course area and it will be hidden to your students. You will need to go into each section and make it available. If you wanted to assign this, at the same time, once you've added it into your course and it appears in all your sections, you can go to that item and choose Properties and decide to assign it and pick a due date. Then go to Advanced Options, scroll down and choose Apply Changes to Multiple Sections. You can then select all sections or again have the opportunity to select individual sections that you wish to only have this assigned in and click Save. This next step now just assign that particular item to the calendar in my current section. It appears there and if I go back out and go into a different section I will have that item now appear in my course and it's also assigned to the same day on the calendar. The same steps can also be applied for any items that you create including any activities or online tests inside your course. The same steps would apply. We do have a separate video to walk you through how to assign and put into multiple sections those activities as well.